plant milk is what the cool kids are having nowadays. But little do they know that it's not all that healthy. Hello, today is August 22nd and we at Behind the Date are celebrating World Plant Milk Day. And if you've been going nuts about milk, this video is just what you need. I'll be talking about the insane varieties of milk in the market, which ones are best for you, and some inside scoop on celebs who are vegan and own it. Go ahead and give this video a big, big thumbs up because that's only going to help me get you more awesome and juicy content every single day. Gone are the days when all you had to do was pick between whole fat milk and skim milk. Today, when you walk into any grocery store, you're going to find countless options of milk. From food you never thought could be milked. From almonds and oats to rice and peas. It's a real challenge to find the right milk. Don't worry, you're not alone when it comes to the confusion. The dairy industry themselves have been pushing the FDA to mandate that plant-based beverages are not milk. They are of the strong opinion that only the liquid that comes via a cow should be labeled as milk. But why do they do this? Anyone should be able to make, or at least try to make, milk out of anything that they want, right? The answer to the why is pretty obvious. If the dairy industry gets some sort of copyright on the name milk, then other brands will have to label their products something else. And mentally, the correlation between milk and nutrition is too ingrained in the audience. That is, people like you and me. We'll always subconsciously see anything with milk as the healthier and more nutritious option. If you're not living under a rock, you know that any dairy-free plant-based milk is better than cow's milk for the environment. And broadly, the reason is the amount of water, grain, land, machinery, and greenhouse gas emissions involved in raising cows. It's one of the highest contributors to global warming. Cow milk is known to have three times the greenhouse effect of plant milk. It also requires nine times more land to produce. But let's not forget plants also need land and water to grow. Cow milk sales have been dropping and the sales of plant-based milk are going up. But the real question is, which of these alternatives is better? Soy milk and almond milk are actually at the bottom of the list. Believe it or not, one liter of soy milk requires one square mile of land per year. This amped up deforestation significantly. And when it comes to almond milk, you won't believe the numbers. The Almond Board of California found that it took 3.2 gallons of water to grow a California almond. Insane, right? Almonds are also found to have the highest water footprint than most other crops. So it's safe to say that almond milk isn't the best choice if you're worried about the environment. So no soy milk, no almond milk. What am I supposed to enjoy with my coffee? Don't worry, I have an answer. It's hemp and pea. Yes, I said pea, and I was just as shocked as you are. The hemp plant is eco-friendly and super high yielding. High yielding means that all of its parts can be used. The leaves and the seeds are used to make oil and milk. The stalks and the roots are used for construction materials, textile fibers, paper, and even plastic. Pretty cool, right? And now for the weird milk, pea milk. Pea milk is made from the yellow field peas that are milled into flour. The protein in the pea gets separated from the fiber and the starch. And that is how it gets a white color. Pea milk actually has a creamy and slightly sweet taste, just like dairy milk. So it's a great option. Peas usually grow in areas that natively get high rainfall, so they don't need many additional water resources. They are also found to require 86% fewer greenhouse gas emissions than almond milk. So that's a huge plus for our earth. But if you don't want to switch for eco-friendly reasons, you could consider switching simply for better health, like these popular celebs. Gordon Ramsay, the chef famous for his meaty burgers in Wellingtons, became the face of the plant-based milk brand, Silk. I love his insanely intense cooking shows, but vegan milk? That seems like a huge jump, even for him. Next up, we have Joaquin Phoenix and Billie Eilish. Both these talented global stars have repeatedly expressed their hate towards the animal industry. They strongly and actively support veganism and push their fans to make the switch. Now here's something you have to think about. If you're considering sharing plant milk with your furry friends, you have to be careful. Some plant milks have ingredients that can be harmful to animals. 
So before you let your pets take a sip, it's a good idea to check with your vet. And speaking of animals, did you know about the story where a woman who has adopted a thousand cats? Yes, she really did love animals. I wonder if she was vegan. Well, to meet this crazy cat lady, go check out my next video on International Cat Day. Make sure you are subscribed to Behind the Date to stay tuned for more captivating stories, mind-boggling facts, and insane adventures. Let's quench your curiosity and make every day exciting and extraordinary. I'm off to go check out the lady with a thousand cats.